Welcome back. Stop Talk and Roll, episode 279. We'll break down some jiu-jitsu rounds today. Ethan's getting a double whammy two days in a row because uh, we have the same file here. So I want to keep this consistent and then myself. So coming in. So he's got a very flexible game. So again, looking to kind of work my way around. This is what I was talking about yesterday, Sam. Okay. So uh, Ethan's got a very flexible game. Coming in tight, looking to pass. I go for double. I go for a double underpass, right, for like a smash pass. Take him over. I have no control of his head right now. If I try to just go to side control, if I try to just like move my body in this direction right towards his head, it's not going to happen, okay? Ooh, if I can zoom in. Let's go. I will zoom, zoom in more, okay? I'm going to go right here. Instead, I'm going to rotate around and come to north-south. Notice, watch my right arm. I bracket his hips as I do this, right? One, one arm's over here. One arm's over here. And I get my north-south. Bracketing hips on both sides. From here, I haven't rolled with Ethan before, so I'm trying all the tried and true techniques first. See how he responds to them. Went for a Jaramillo, didn't work. Or I can't, I'm not getting under, so looking to hunt for a north-south choke. Exposing the arms, because his arms come to come up to defend. Looking to come back underneath. I think I have a, a north-south choke in right now. So, and being nice, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I think he has his hands in though, actually. I think I think uh, on the other side, he, he was able to get his arms in, couldn't get through. So I drive for the Jeremiah special. I think I think we stopped for a second because he was, I think he, he said, I, it sounded like I made a sound or something. Um, he's doing a really good job of, of keeping his back to the floor. So I'm gonna switch sides and try it on the other side. If, if they are really, di like, when you're trying to attack a Kamora in side control and they're really, really heavy about putting their back on the ground, usually the north-south choke is going to be available. So I keep attacking between the two. And there we go. So you just go back and forth between those two. All right, right back into it. Or maybe not. Okay, right back into it. There we go. Ah, don't like closed guard. Let's see if Ethan opens his guard at any point. I I usually escape immediately. Yep, the guard's open. Yep, and I'm out. That's what I was talking about. So he is able to re re get his guard here. But I'm gonna look to kick my hands out. This is a good. This is a great. Attempt, Ethan. Um, actually, you might even get me down. I forget. Uh, I I also know what's going on here. Um, so generally, one of the, I don't think I don't know if I do it here, but one of the things I do like to do when somebody does a sweep, um, I forget what this, I forget what this sweep is called. But basically, what he's trying to do is you actually want to sag a little bit, Ethan, and get your hamstring on my thigh. And then drive me right down and kind of like crumple me down as you bump into my knee, right? Like like outward into my knee. Oh, yeah, I can zoom in. Sorry, I'm getting used to it. As you bump into my knee, okay? That resets every time. That's annoying. Um, one of the things I like to do is because you're trying to drive my knee out, I'm going to be <laughs> driving my knee in. And when I can get them to collapse and the, and the move kind of fails and their hip drops to the floor, Okay, what I'll do then is I will kind of like take my knee and, and push them to the side and use that as like a reverse knee on belly. Um, so, so instead of a, a regular knee on belly is like uh, I'm facing their head, a reverse knee on belly would be I'm facing their legs. So it's kind of the position I'll get into. I don't think I do it here, but it is a good option. Yeah, so you like it would, it would be you could see right there. Um, I, Ethan's doing a good job of retracting his legs, so it's probably why I don't do it. Guys, this is a, this is pretty essential. This grip break, watch right here. Okay, I can't have it zoomed. I'm 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 in the process of looking for some better software. If anybody knows like video editing software where I can record in it, I'm I'm looking for better annotations. I'm I have been upgrading. I got some new stuff. We're getting there. 
But uh, I know I keep talking about it. I actually have the stuff now. I just got to incorporate it. But I do need a, a little bit better here. Sorry, long story short, um, this grip, I can't break it this way. I can't break it this way. I have to go actually into his body, right? So there's a, there's a little opening there. I go through that and I can kick my leg out. Hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sounds good. All right. So watch. There's an opening there. Kick out. So nice little spin. We got in, what was that? Reverse De La Hiva. We got in some weird. Oh, De La Hiva. Oh, actually, why did that work? Is that viable? You have me broken down completely here. Huh. I'm going to have to try that again. Okay, well, that was actually pretty cool. If I capitalized on this kind of swinging position here, so as we come back, I could probably enter into a knee weave immediately. If I can, if I sprawl this leg back, so let me zoom in. So if I sprawled this leg back and then brought it back in quick, I can either get into a leg drag into the space or my or a leg weave. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, well, I do kind of capture that leg heavy guys when I'm doing this a lot of it's just heavy on the hips I just want to be nice and heavy on the hips and make it really difficult for my opponent to move again notice the grip break right this is the opening out here that's where I'm going to kick boom <laughs> okay Tried for tried for a little cartwheel pass. Uh, he happened to move away at the same time, but the timing on a cartwheel pass, I did a very, we were rolling very calm. Um, I was not throwing a, a super fast cartwheel because I didn't know if Ethan knows how to respond correctly and I don't want to knee him in the face. Um, and he does know how to respond correctly, so I can do it faster next time. Um, so... Basically, the timing is when someone's supine on their back, like so, and as they sit up, you go for the cartwheel pass. So the timing's not perfect, but again, I was doing it nice and slow. If if, if you notice where I land, if Ethan doesn't move, right, I'm I'm in north south. But because Ethan clearly has had he's been cartwheel pass before, or he just knew to back up, I'm gonna have to do that a lot more aggressively next time. But again, it can get a little. I didn't wanna kick somebody in the face all right knee on belly that bar through uh what well, could i could attack that arm i wonder why i didn't what am i doing instead okay so i am playing side control right now notice i do have control of his head i have cross face so side control is an appropriate guard i'm looking to expose that knee i mean i'm sorry that elbow so i can get my leg across very nice job getting me into half guard. This foot's going to come up in a second and act as a butterfly hook. I'm sure of it. Maybe not. Am I not? What am I doing? Oh, okay. I drive through to three-quarters mount. I wonder if I'm in full mount right now. No, I'm not. I'm in three-quarters mount. So, yep, yeah, looking to get under that elbow. And Ethan's doing an excellent job of making sure that doesn't happen. Sorry about that. Uh, looking for a half Nelson to force him to his back. He's doing a great... Ethan, this is excellent. Great job keeping your elbow here. This is what's keeping Ethan from having his back taken right now. Is just this elbow. Oh my god, my phone is blowing up right now. I'm so sorry. Oh, but I'm finally able to get to full mount. Looks like, oh, you get it back. Ethan's got great guard retention. Um, but I am able to get under that arm. Uh, I am trying to go for a tricep slicer. I think the time's about to end. I usually hit it from shin mount, but I was giving it a shot from another position. I don't believe I get it.
sit through. <laughs> I was going to do some kind of rolling toe hold or something, but it didn't happen. Well, there you go. Trying some new stuff. Ethan, great guard retention. Excellent job. Uh, good to have you in the gym. We got two episodes in a row. It's pretty good. Uh, please, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. And if you want to be on the show, check out the description below. We'll get you on here. Yo, I got a lavalier mic. I didn't even know what they were called. Those are the little clip-on mics. They're called lavalier mics. It is in a box right right here. So I'm going to get that set up. Hopefully uh, next weekend I can record my first little instructional or it's sometime this week, and and I'm gonna put it out like separate from Stop Talk and Roll. I'll just release it at some time, but uh, it's coming, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna break down some of those more popular episodes, or po more more popular techniques that we're seeing, more common techniques, and uh, hopefully I can re I'll be able to refer to them more often. You know, when I talk about certain things. So coming up on a year, next month. So lots in the work. All right. Works, 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 bye.